Uh, I'm Thomas Freckleton, and um, I play guitar and sing in a band called Silent Planet. Um, six months and two days ago, I was riding my bicycle uh, down the street in my hometown. Uh, I was actually just headed to the store and then to a friend's house. And um, from what I remember, I was just heading slightly down a hill, and then my next thought was, um, my next memory was getting woken up on the street by a police officer, and um, he asked me a few questions, and I, I thought I was in like a really crazy dream, and I um, said, sir, what's your name? I said, Thomas? Like, I didn't feel anything, I didn't, I didn't know anything. Thomas? I said, okay. Um, Sir, do you know? Do you do you know what happened? And I was like, what do you mean? It's like, were you riding your bicycle? And I was like, yeah. He said, okay. Do you know where you are? I said, no, I don't. Um, sir, you were just hit by a vehicle traveling at 65 miles per hour on your bicycle. Um, once he said that, I, I felt everything. I felt my back. I, I felt I couldn't move. Apparently, I shattered my L2 in my back, so my spine was completely, there was no bone there anymore. And uh, we go to the hospital, and I find out uh, I have a bunch of other broken bones on my left side of my body. And uh, next month was possibly one of the most challenging months of my life. Uh, having multiple shots, saying they're saying I'm going in for surgery. I don't have that bone anymore to keep my spine together. They're gonna have to put metal in my back. I still have metal in my back. Um, yeah, I was almost paralyzed. Um, I've never in my life had to slow down like that, ever. I've always been burning both sides, both ends of the candle, frequently, always. Just moving, moving, moving. I'm a go-getter kind of person. So to be able to not be able to move was quite the challenge. Um, like I was totally just couldn't do anything other than like sit there. So I became um, slightly depressed, and, and like anyone would. So I'm at a low, low, low with hope. If that makes any sense. I asked God, "Where, where were you that night? Because you saved my life." And immediately, I just, like, it was freaky. I, like, popped into this, like, vision, eyes wide open of, like, like eight angels carrying me to the ground as I'm going through the air. And just, I kept hearing purpose, purpose. You're here for a purpose. You are already here for a purpose, but you're here. For, I kept you here on purpose. I kept you, you know. So, I was just so determined to like get back and share with people that it's it's going to be okay. Um, I, I've known so many people that hurt themselves on purpose because it's not going to be okay, but it's going to be okay. And um, whatever religious bullcrap has been shoved down your throat, just know there's a real king that wants to love you unconditionally. No matter your mistakes or your issues or your problems, he knows you. He built you. So if you have a problem with alcohol, you have a problem with drugs, you have a problem with porn, or you have a problem with hatred, anger, you have a problem with stealing, or whatever, it could be all ripped away. So I just want to encourage anyone and everyone that, that is going through something that's, that they feel like they can't handle, that there's, there's a new day coming, and there's a different hope in this world to grab onto.